Hi, I am Tanaj Jain and I will be solving a question for my maths homework. At first glance, when I saw the question, I thought it was very difficult. But uh, looking at it now, uh, I feel that I can do this question by changing the variable in the limit as well as uh, with the use of substitution. So for my first step, uh, what I will uh, do is consider the limits. So for the one year, we can see that uh, zero is less than equal to y, which is again less than equal to one. However, for this one, I can see that um, the lower limit is under root y, which is lesser than equal to x, which is again lesser than equal to one. This again can be re uh, this can I can rewrite this as under root y which is equal to x which is again equal to 1 now I can uh, square uh, square all of them which will lead me to have an y is equal to x square and 1 square is 1 now uh, looking at the question we can see that uh, they first intended us for, to integrate in terms of uh, x variable x uh, when we actually consider uh, doing this uh, and taking the limits, the graph which we can make is this where y is equal to x square uh, which is somewhat like this but then again we know that the limits for y is 0 and 1 so this is 0, this is the y axis x-axis and we know that um, there is a limit uh, for x to be 1 so I will just uh, when uh, we first consider doing integrating with uh, x it will mean that we are integrating along the x-axis However, to make our calculations easier, uh, what I will do is change the variable in the limits which will in future help us. Uh, again, making the same um, graph. 1, 0, 1. However, when we change it from making over making dy come here and changing the limits we will be integrating along the y-axis sorry for the weird cut uh, however I want to explain one more thing as we are changing uh, the variable over here we can see that uh, as there was a restriction so over here it was uh, when when we were integrating along the x-axis so it was x a value of x to 1 however uh, over here we know that the lower limit will be 0 and the value of x square as uh, this is a curve for x where y is equal to x square so we can rewrite the initial equation as uh, integration y 0 the upper limit will be x square 0 and then x3 plus 1 dy by dx now as we integrating first integrating in terms of y we can take this whole portion as a constant This can further be simplified. As there is no y over here, so while when we integrate this, 
it comes out to be y x square is 0 dx so after sim uh, after the first integration what we have is x cube plus 1 and from here uh, we get x square as y when we make it 0 is 0 so nothing will be subtracted over here dx now looking at this uh, uh, it is very complex for me so what I did was I substituted so I'll be adding a third variable to make my calculations much easier so consider that uh, third variable to, to be t and we are already considering this x cube plus 1 so x cube plus 1 is equal to t square I've taken this as t square as it will be much easier uh, in helping us uh, solve the question forward so yeah now what I'll do is I'll uh, differentiate on both sides so it will become 3x square 1 is a constant so it goes out and then because we are differentiating this in terms of x what will happen is this becomes 2t uh, dt by dx sorry for the weird cut once again the page got over so what I'll be doing to continue is we'll take over here x square we'll take the 3 down to the other side dt dx which again uh, I'll take the dx that side so this becomes x square uh, dx 2 by 3 t dt now uh, because I have taken a third variable the limits again need to be changed uh, <coughs> from our initial equation we know that um, which is x3 plus 1 where dx we know that the upper limit is 1 and the lower limit is 0 so 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 1 however the the, uh, the initial the equation which you created x3 plus 1 plus t squared will help us make uh, the new limits again um, we can take x as 0 x is 0 then um, x is 0 plus 1 t square um, uh, which is t uh, has value of 1 and when we consider x to be 1 uh, so this is again 1 plus 1 2 under root 2 so the final equation what we have after substituting x is um, also adding the new limits under root 2 which is bigger than 1 and the lower limit will be 1 we took x cube uh, plus 1 to be t square so I'll write t square inside and uh, instead of uh, x square dx which uh, we proved here and we took it as 2 by 3 t dt I'll add this here 2 by 3 t dt uh, we can take 2 by 3 there to be considered as a constant under root 2 1 t square t dt now integrating this 2 by 3 is outside um, under root t uh, and t square uh, will become t and then t into t is t square and then uh, and uh, when we integrate that it comes out to be t3 by 3 under root 2 1 to further simplify this what we can uh, do is take this 3 outside so it becomes 2 by 9 and uh, the 
upper limit which is under root 2 uh, what to do under root 2 uh, into 3 minus the lower limit which is 1 so 1 3 so what we get is uh, under root 2 raised to 3 is under root 8 uh, which can be simplified and written as 2 root 2 and, and uh, 1 uh, raised to 3 is again 1 itself so this is the answer what I have got integrating uh, after integration and substitution and using substitution